Hello and welcome to the Stephen Tries Podcast. Series 3, episode 20. <laughs> 320 Blazer, am yeah, I right? Yeah, boy. It's episode 20. Oh. Must be all the se- <laughs> series 3 <laughs> than the episode 20, mate. <laughs> but yeah, season 3, episode 20. I mean, now we've established that. That's already you know, been said literally about 30 seconds ago. I mean, we've said about five things and you've repeated one Sometimes of them. Sometimes I like to repeat things. Who is it? I didn't know. Oh, it's Tom Sorry. Looney. Sorry. It's Tom Looney, ladies and gentlemen. We have started. Yeah. Uh, and so far, it's been rip roaring, hasn't it, Ryan? Yeah, it's been constant. Non stop. So far, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, been yeah. I. I said, hey! I didn't think you'd do this to <laughs> it, was, it was going really well. I said it was uh, Series 3, Episode 20. Ryan repeated that. And then you two came in. <laughs> nice. This week, I'm joined by Ryan Locke. Hey, Ryan, Ryan. Tom Looney. Hey. Looney. 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 Yeah, Looney. 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 All right. Looney. Bit subdued, that. No, no, no. That's what they've come to expect. No, no, no. More of that coming up. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know what the, the viewers want week to week. Fuck me. <laughs> They're crazy, these guys. I'm, I'm so consistent, mate. <laughs> Keep them up to the end. <laughs> <laughs> and Max... The Myth Smith. <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> yes! Oh. Uh. Cheers, guys. First things first. Ryan, yeah. last week, your great comment... Uh, which I uh, did oh, yeah. I did that before but with cum yeah. has been a massive hit online yeah. well, well done Ryan thank you cum boy <laughs> you can wear <laughs> sort of like a, someone who has a dog cum boy oh cum boy come on yeah. you me you're just yeah. thinking of something that oh, comes on boys and a paedophile with a dog that's yeah, what you're yeah, thinking yeah, yeah. The that's where your head goes <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh, Ryan what would you like to say to your newfound fans uh, thanks very much for um Laughing at the, the comment and laughing at the expense that I. Oh, you spent a lot on that. <laughs> <laughs> Go, on. Uh, Go on, I'm interested. That wasn't your cup, right, you bought that. that. What I was trying to say is uh, laughing at, at my expense. Yeah. I don't think they Do were. Think? Uh, well, I wasn't. I, I, put, I did put myself in the situation, but mm. yeah. Just cheers. Yeah. Well done, Ryan. Yeah, well really done. Proud of you. Cheers. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Ask me back. More of that, please. Tom, what have you been up to this week? Just been uh, been getting back into running. I have booked uh, a you run. Just, you just run sporadically, don't you? Uh, I do, but yeah. I've, uh, I've 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 looking at a run. Um, oh yeah, I say I've booked one. Uh, I've decided between a couple at the moment, nice. in and around October. Um, okay. Either a ten k or a half marathon. Do you know what I don't get is why do why do you have to pay to do like a. A charity run. Do you know, like when it's the marathon yeah, or something? Yeah. You just pay to do it. You should get that money back when you finish, I reckon. Well, I guess it, it goes into the uh, the production of it, putting it on. So, oh, so that you're not production. spending money. It's just production. a road, isn't it? Yeah, yeah but you've got to pay. It costs like money stewards, to push it on, yeah. People to come in and put fences up. You get a medal. Volunteer, mate. You yeah. get some water. Yeah, water boys. Nope. Yeah. And girls. girls. Oh, you are wow. such a misogynist. What about the cum boys? Shamed yourself, eh? They, they have a great marathon. Yeah, they <laughs> really do. Uh, Ryan, how yeah. was TGI's at the bank holiday? Yeah, oh, busy. Oh, yeah, busy, busy. Oh, uh, we had a... That's a really specific question. Mine was uh, so vague. No, great. Oh, I just like that. Um, yeah, no, do, do you know what? It was busy in the week, but on the actual week. <laughs> struggling, man. It's not good, <laughs> right? actual week. Not I, I thought it'd be so easy to answer. It's busy, because everyone had come out in the week. <laughs> Um, I was on a plate that. <laughs> no, what was it? Sorry, uh, I didn't get any of that. So, yeah, go on. Apologies. Saturday and Don't Sunday make him repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Sorry. We'll need this for the edit. Go again. Drivel FM. Saturday and Sunday wasn't that busy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Ryan, look there, everybody. <laughs> it's like a window into his life. Ryan. Have you, have you, have you installed Tinder? Uh, no, not yet. Just, uh, yeah, not yet. A lot of not yet on this wrong. podcast. Yeah. Yeah. What are you yeah. waiting for in life? Oh, what are just, you doing? I don't know. Yeah. I just feel, I don't it's know. It's going to pass you by. Ready. Before you know it, you're going to be 70. Yeah. Still alone. I, I'm, TG, I'm just TGIs. not ready to get back yeah. out there. Won't be busy. Yet. Assistant manager at best oh. of the bar. Yeah, <laughs> Dave will be your manager. Assistant yeah, yeah. to the assistant manager. <laughs> Dave's Dave's kids are working there. Oh, <laughs> and God. so are the mums. Boss me around. And you've shagged them all. <laughs> not the kids. <laughs> no, sure. the kids. Sure. Uh, Ryan, I remember yeah. a while ago we spoke about uh, your TikTok, and I've been tagging you in, uh, in yeah, any yeah. podcast one because uh, you got a TikTok. I thought I'll tag it. How many have you made? 
Uh, I've made one so far. Uh, did you make one or did you repost someone else? Uh, I've <laughs> technically reposted yours and then <sighs> didn't even put a caption or anything in it. Fuck. I gave you, I gave you another idea. You haven't done that. Yeah, no, I haven't done it. Do, do you know what it is? I don't, I don't, uh, it is? Maybe it is an excuse, but I'm using waiting for my new phone as an excuse because I just don't know how to use TikTok. At so you're being honest that you're using excuses. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're waiting for a new phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I could just go out and get my new phone. You might just make you excuses. Four, by the way. Just make excuses. There we go. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> well, what have you been up to, Stephen? Uh, you've been um, doing more than we have. I went to London and filmed for Sky Cinema for their new series. Yeah. Uh, thanks, guys. I was presenting and I, I thought, I'm going to learn this as much as I can, so I'm not looking at the cards. Uh, and I felt like I was doing stand-up again, so I had it all in my head. Again, real, real nervous about doing that. And I was thinking, whilst I may have got the lines right, mm. all my mind is saying is... Oh, what's the next word? What's the next word? So I'm probably presenting like a robot. Mm. Um, lacking that Philip Schofield pizzazz that I need in life. But I've, uh, I wrote some jokes. That was good. They had to be Sky Cinema friendly. Because um, <laughs> I've, I've worked for other people and they were a bit more out, out there and outrageous. Because mm. uh, the show is called Star Catchers. The first joke I wrote was a uh, uh, fun fact. That was the original name for Operation U Tree. In it, Star Catchers, because they got a lot of celebrities that were paedophiles. Yeah, they caught, <laughs> caught them. A bit too close to home for that, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, mate. Sorry. Still thinking about Dave's family. I went. <laughs> Go on, Ryan. No, I was just going to say. Remember, remember when I said that cum thing? I was a paedophile at the time. <laughs> oh. what? But, that's that but I've changed. That's what? Now, I, now I'm now I'm just a racist. Have I, have, have I lost something? You were a paedophile, and you've as that character. Oh, he's yeah, a character. Yeah, yeah. What? And that now, you know, you keep making jokes. I don't think like, you were. No, you weren't. He was just I don't think you that the show had moved on. That was when you were, that was the week before with Dave. And you're a priest. But you were a paedophile said, last week. Fair enough. Yeah, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I mean, we've got a great line there. Do you know what they I asked really at the line. start? Oh, yeah, sorry. When Interesting fact. Yeah. At the time. Sorry. <laughs> I have, I have you mixed You can't up. blame it on paedophilia. <laughs> I have mixed you're, up too. You're now giving paedophiles a worse Of course, this was back in 2006. Anyway... Uh, Sky Cinema uh, on YouTube. Check it out. I'll be I'll be presenting on there. Uh, the next ones I'm doing are specials, which is good. Um, it's exciting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> it's good. It's good fun though. Now it's time for complaints. Yay. Yay. Dear Stephen, Papa Smith, Looney Eye, the Google guy. That's good, isn't it? Nice. Uh, Brian Locke, the fellow with the shit hair. Oh, I think they've already mentioned you. Uh, <laughs> the fellow with the shit mustache, James. The fellow with the stupid laugh, Dave. Cam. Cam the Closeted Man. Uh, I've noticed there hasn't been much slagging off of other podcasts of late, and all these punk bitch podcasts cruising around the yard like they own the joint. And I'm by the pull, pull up bar and the dumbbells minding my own shit, and some cock sucking mic jockey crew be hassling the airwaves with nonsense that I ain't got no time for. And you're all there sucking down some pork and beans with Brian's finger up your bum. I'm gonna have you have to start shanking, you feel me? Anyway, keep up the great work. Lots of love, Slim Jim. Thanks, Thank Slim you, Slim Jim. Jim. Thanks, Slim Jim. I appreciate that you've taken a break from the bullet bar and the dumbbells. <laughs> uh, we should take a break from the dumbbell and, uh, yeah. and find some clever people to get on the podcast because he just comes in with, oh, I haven't got time to get found. I've, I've worked one day this week, by the way, Stephen. It's a lot. It's a lot. Me I have to the roll weed up. It's tricky. <laughs> Hi, lads. This is from Fergal. <laughs> Fergal. <laughs> Please, please bring back the brilliance of Slag Off a Podcast. Oh, wow. really? Oh. Okay. I guess we have. I, I guess we have been generous. Mm. <laughs> These people were so passionate. <laughs> that's the issue, you know. I thought let's do some good deeds. How wrong were we? Oh, this one says big stonker of a complaint. Jesus. This is more up your alley. Hi, guys. I've been watching the podcast every week to get the latest celebrity gossip through a certain Mr. Looney segment. However, I'm starting to get extremely suspicious he might not know what he's talking about. More to follow. Thank you, Quentin Ball. Oh, more to follow? <laughs> Open your ears, mate. The start of an investigation is... It's beginning, mate. That was Sorry a month. About this. Sent it a month ago, so... <laughs> Last one, because a lot of these haven't been... Uh, no. Fuming. And we want people to be fuming. Dear Ryan... Stephen, oh. Tom, Dave, Cameron, Tony, and finally Max, I guess. Get fucked. <laughs> the reason why I hate Max's IMAX so much is because the comparison with the the IMAX that you find in the cinema is just too uncanny. This being that the IMAX in cinemas are very large, 
Some might say they take up all the space in the room for no reason. Yeah. And it's also you very, no very... reason. The whole point you go there is because it's a bigger no, screen. Hey, hey, the hey, hey, hey stop biting, man. <laughs> stop biting. It's also very, very overrated for what it is. And finally, it has over-the-top loud noises that takes the average viewer's breath away. Oh, weren't you scared? You're going to cry. Can, can you stop Shh. interrupting, please? Did they write that? <laughs> I thought, yeah, they preempted it. <laughs> Simmer down. I thought that I should also mention that poor, poor Ryan is completely underrated and misunderstood on the podcast and always seems to be bullied by someone who looks worse than Fred Fred Weasley at the end of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hours. I assume that's me, but I've not, I've not really watched Fred uh, Fred Weasley. You've also got Wesley. <laughs> Sh- <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, Max? Fucking right. Fred Wesley. Yeah. Who's Fred Wesley? Wesley. 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 I've not seen that film. You see that in the IMAX? You might, yeah? you might not idiot. know him, but he's a. <laughs> it's a very big character what, in Harry Potter. No, that's nasty. No, no. You've taken what they haven't said and you've said it yourself. That was bad about me, but you come off looking worse. I don't know what I've done. Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cheeky. Oh. Uh, it's time for the news. Hey. Got sore abs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it was the Queen's Jubilee. Hey. Uh, guess how much it cost taxpayers, Ryan? 18 million. 28 million. Fuck me. Yeah, worth it though. I'm so happy. Gotta be done. Gotta be done. These people worth billions could yeah. uh, could use our money to have a nice celebration. Congratulations, yeah. guys. Do you reckon they'll spend 28 million when this podcast reaches its platy tubes? <laughs> 70 years. <laughs> if we reach 70 years, we are all yeah. single. <laughs> we are wearing robes and fucking each other. I wonder if I'll still be doing the same segment. <laughs> yeah, another complaint. <laughs> sure, IMAX anymore. It's IMAX is back. <laughs> I watched Fast and the Furious 32. <laughs> but I was be old enough to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Former gym shark athlete, Max. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, no question for you. Yeah, I pitched the idea of you vote for the royal family every four mm. years. Who's going to be? Oh well, um, who it's going to be? Who would your king slash queen be if it was down to you? You get a vote. It could be famous. Could be anyone. Oh, anyone. Do they have to be a couple or could I pick? No, no, no. Just George put, Clooney just person and to be Doris down the road. King or Queen. Why are you trying to set those up all the time? <laughs> What's she got on you? <laughs> it will happen, man. It will happen. Uh, ooh. Joe Lysett might be fun. Joe Lysett is, yeah. is king. Yeah, it's king. But I think I think he's the sort of cheeky person who's like, no, I want to be queen. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah he really is cheeky. cheeky. He is That's cheeky. That's why I chose him. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's good. Like Mickey Flanagan. He'd be quite uh, funny as king. Oh, God. God, God, Did man. Be in- interesting. Why Idris and why Mickey? Um, Mickey, uh, I think man of the people. It's just yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it'd be quite funny, yeah, uh, entertaining. Yeah, yeah. Go on, go uh, on. Explain, Christmas, explain. Christmas day. No, no, no. Imagine the Christmas Day speech. <laughs> oh, oh, that'd be great. <laughs> I wasn't even going out. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Uh, talking about the Brexit deal. <laughs> Idris Elba, I don't know why. I just think he looked cool with a crown. No, he's out. Yeah. <laughs> right. Imagine the, the, imagine the speech, though, Idris Elba. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> oh, for those of us who can't imagine it. Go on, go on. Fucking <laughs> waste of time. Yeah. You, Is may, that, you made me put this question just for your stand up bit about Idris really? Elba's okay. <laughs> Christmas Day speech. <laughs> well. Uh, well, what what was questions? <laughs> so you, oh, you're God. doing you're doing Idris Elba giving the Christmas speech. Right. Oh, yeah. well, I'm not going to do. What was the right behind him? Just Merry <laughs> <laughs> Christmas from the cum boys as well. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're not racist <laughs> anymore. <laughs> uh, really proud of you, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Now it's time for a new little addition to the news. Oh, it's Ryan's favourite news story. Of the week. Wow, little segment. I just thought it'd be nice to see what Ryan enjoys about the yeah, news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I imagine it's not the Jubilee or Boris. <laughs> so I'm sorry if I pronounce his name wrong. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> sorry, you've, you've only had time to prep. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, in South Korea, Chi Yin Jan broke the record for the longest paper aeroplane throw in the world, <laughs> covering wow, a God. distance of 252 feet. God, it's a lot of feet. Yeah, yeah, man. Did you watch a video of it? Uh, no, no, I didn't watch a video of it. But I did read the article. Um, was yeah. it? Was there loads of people doing it? Uh, yes, there were loads of people doing it, and they yeah. were all competing for the Guinness World Records. Wow! So they're all throwing aeroplanes, yeah? Yeah, they're all throwing yeah, yeah. aeroplanes. Um, is this from? Is this from a ground, or yeah, is this yeah. from a height? Is it horizontal? Is it indoors or outdoors? 
it looked what, what, outdoors. What, what, it looked <laughs> outdoors. That's quite well, risky because oh, of the. Uh, no, it must have been indoors. Yeah. It, it does. Like the wind, because that can be such a variable, can't of it? Of course, yeah. yeah. It's not easy Googling no, interesting no, stuff, not man. So. <laughs> not so. But these people are like, their lives are paper. They're airplanes. real people. Like, yeah. Well, these yeah, are real yeah. people. Like, no more of these robot aeroplane fucking things, yeah? All right, right. Yeah, I should have left. Should have saw what paper they used. Yeah, I, would you try and break their record? We could do it. Here. Oh, that would be great. I'd love to see that. Yeah, yeah, I could give it a go. I don't know how to make a paper airplane, to be honest. But oh. we've got to start somewhere. Don't we? You do. <laughs> it's now time for Maxis Football Roundup. Uh. Maxis Football Round. Gerard Piquet cheats on Shakira with his teammate's mother. Shakira, like my hips don't lie. Max's football round. You know what time it is, boys and girls. Oi, did you hear what that loony bloke just said? Shakira announces split from Barcelona legend Gerard Piquet after 11 years together. Yeah, I guess you never really know what goes on, do you? Did you hear what that loony bloke just said? It's now time for You Laugh, You Lose. Uh, this week it is Max Smith who's going to try and make us laugh. Outrageously so. No, no, no. I, if, you, if you watch the edit, it is actually 30 seconds. Really? Yeah. Uh, you just start it when I come in, please. Yeah, sure. I wonder what accent he's going to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good, man. Yeah. Uh, you have a talking point. Uh, uh, kind of. I had just had some questions. Maybe I'll start with mine. Okay. Yeah, more kind okay. of questions. Yeah, you got one. Oh, you do. Come well, on, Ryan. Right. Yeah, a couple of shit ones. Uh, if you could only shop at one clothes shop for the rest of your life, where would it have to be? Oh, this is this is something I. Uh, <laughs> 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 Died. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Sloppy Joe's. It's going to have to be a quick one today because I've got to go see a man by a dog. So actually, I mean, a judge about a kennel. Huh? That's why we call me Sloppy Joe. <laughs> well, anyway, you're probably wondering about this jam. It's because I love jam so much. I love jamming things, especially in that kennel. Oh, I've got to go see the judge now. I just remembered. Uh-oh, <laughs> silly Joe. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> you guys so no comedy at all. God. It's jam, man. It's... Was it jam? I thought it was ketchup. I think it was jam. <laughs> oh, he's been so sticky all day. Yeah, man. And for what? <laughs> to make the to make the same dog joke four times. <laughs> <laughs> Did I mention dogs? <laughs> I've got to go to the kennels. I said, I, I said kennels, I said. That, that'd oh, work if Joe man. was on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 just just that just went against the wall. <laughs> Pull that jam on that. <laughs> I'd probably go for... It's tricky, you know, because in this modern climate, it's a lot of... Uh, not to talk about fast fashion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you go, oh, God, as, as the years go on, you know, I'm hopefully going to be alive for another 60 years. <laughs> I don't I don't know what the world will be like, yeah. world even. Fast fast fashion's struggling a bit at the minute. Like, it's, you know, a lot of... Uh, a lot of brands are struggling. Sustainability, you know? So much wastage. I didn't really think about it getting older. Yeah. I f- yeah. So you just thought right here, right now. Yeah. You know, when we get older, are we yeah. going to be like dressing like how we are now? Is this your question? Have you uh, no, it? I'm thinking yeah. that. I'm now thinking one yeah, yeah. one brand or one shop even. Yeah, I was going to go super dry because I really like the clothes. Yeah. But I don't know oh, if I would still be hell, Ryan. Right? If I was eighty, super dry. You look like a pedophile now. Fucking hell! I'm going to choose the cancer research charity shop. Wow, in Regents Road. I'd get a variety. You don't yeah. have to go for that specific shop. Well, it's the only all... one I know. So, but I mean, is all charity shops cheating? Because that is a wide, wide range. No, I'd, I'd give you. It. You yeah. could say cancer research charity shops. 
Well, it's not that feet. I'm most passionate about uh, cancer. That was your wee. <laughs> yeah, we. I just saw Joe run out of here crying, saying you don't get comedy. <laughs> he's, in, he's in Toronto. Oh, yeah, yeah very strange. Yeah. 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 He said he had to fly all the way out here just to do some. Yeah, you look a bit hot and bothered, man. <laughs> oh no, no you're joking. Good. He flew all. The, he went to all that effort. All that, that effort. Yeah, that'd be so embarrassing. If that, <laughs> no, oh, any effort would be embarrassing. Yeah, yeah to be man. fair. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Good though, you missed there was some laughter after. Uh, oh, was there? You know, while you, while you were going. Oh. Yeah. What did you yeah. ask? Uh, which one? The, uh, oh, that's which a good one? question. Dog, yeah, isn't it? God. Uh, if you could only shop at one clothes shop for the rest of your life, where would it be? Oxfam. Wow, so we've got cancer research. Yeah, Oxfam. Shop is a good, yeah, good shout. He didn't shout it. I didn't. He went for the super no, dry. Right. <laughs> you don't wear super dry now. No. Not like all the time. I'm just saying, like, they're my favourite. I brand. thought it would like, be you, Chris you and B's merch yeah. store. Of quality of clothes. Stevens uh, hand me down. Yeah. <laughs> I think super dry shit. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. I really don't like the style of it. Wow. It's... But if I wasn't thinking of the planet, I'd probably go ASOS because they do yeah. all ages. And they also put Liverpool tops on there. So I could, I could get those still. Yeah. <sighs> oh, Carhartt. Yeah. Sure, they do older stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'll go with that for now. Are they sustainable? They seem like the type of people that would be. They charge enough. Mm. I I have a, a great talking point, but Ryan, I would like you to leave the room. Okay. So it can be a great talking point. Yeah. Uh, no, go, go and put your, your glad rags on if you, uh, you know what I mean. Um, if Joe's out there, say hi from here. This is going to be speed dating for Ryan. Okay. We're going to be three different women. Okay. Give me speed dates. Nice. Please, please welcome our bachelor, Ryan Locke. <laughs> So Ryan, it's come to my attention yeah. that you're back on the market and yeah, more desperate than ever. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, when was the last time you were on a date? God, do you know what? So long ago. I so thought it'd be great for you to get years. some practice. So one by one, you're gonna go on three dates. Uh, should we speed date? Do you want to do that? Yeah. yeah. How long do you want to have? Five minutes, I think, is the general. I'm mean, fucking do three minutes in. Well, no, that's no, what I'm minute saying. and a half. God damn minute it. Minute and a half. Well, yeah. all right. Okay. Quick talking point. Who do you want to start with? Uh, I'll, I'll start with Max. We've got Max now. <gasps> Who's Max? Oh, sorry, nice, sorry. nice. I'm Sydney Sausage. <laughs> I was going to go with Sydney Sausage. <laughs> Can't got your tongue. <laughs> I know a pussy that wouldn't mind I'll be it. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Fuck me. I I'm sorry. Literally, so Sydney. Sydney Sausage. Oh, yeah, nice SS. You. I'm, I'm Ryan. Hi, uh, Ryan. You've got beautiful hair. Thank you. Oh. I'd like to say the same. Yeah, thank you. I'd like to. Uh, what, what do you do? Sydney? Well, my father is the head of s- Sausage Land. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been? Um, I'm a vegetarian. Oh, really? It's, fuck me. It's a gay bar, you yeah, fool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sydney, what, what would you like to do in your free time? Well, I love to go on speed dates with hot men. Do you think this is going well? Yeah. Should I buy you a drink later? Well, buy me one now. It's speed dating. Okay, yeah. I'll, uh, what would you, what? You're a bartender, I presume. What, uh, <laughs> what sort of drinks do you like? <laughs> oh, I can make a, a wide variety. I didn't of say what can you make. I said what do you like? Say wide. Who? What the fuck is this, <laughs> bitch? That you brought along with you? Uh, this is my you next fat day. Four <laughs> Uh, us, Sydney, don't ignore, <laughs> ignore whoever this God, is. you're just going to brush me aside like all no, the rest, no, are you? You're, you're There's been seven your... men sat where you are right now. you, Sydney. You're, you're... Hey, yes, my love. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're Okay, right. Uh, Sydney, do you have any uh, kids? Yes, and? <laughs> That's good. Uh, yeah, you have... <laughs> Boys, girls? No, I've got uh, I've got both. You got a boy and a girl. That's no, just one. Nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Get woke. <laughs> you prick. I see. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Uh, it's just it's two minutes. <laughs> Go two minutes. I'm gonna say no. Mm. Oh, no we don't find no. out yet. Oh. oh, I might say maybe. <laughs> Might say um, me. I'll go to <laughs> go on. beautiful woman here. Oh, thanks. Um, what's your name? I'm Janine. Janine, lovely to meet you, Janine. Uh, you look really nice today. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and most days, I can imagine. <laughs> uh, are you from Manchester, Janine? Do I sound like I'm from Manchester? Uh, I don't really know. No, I don't think so. I'm from Essex. Essex, Essex. Okay. What? What part? Just around Essex. Oh yeah, me too. Me too. We can maybe we can. Oh, she gets around, to, all right. <laughs> maybe we can do a trip to London. Together. I'm looking for someone to tie me down. Yeah, to the London Eye as it goes round. <laughs> <The> fuck! <laughs> it's a strange <laughs> thing to say. 
it should be a nice night, a nice day out, wouldn't it? A day out. To tie me to the London Eye. <laughs> you sound like a Bond villain. Is that meant to be sexy? Yeah, I, yeah, you look yeah. like a Bond I victim. So. <laughs> a bit where, like, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> and then we go down the London dungeon. <laughs> Are you a virgin? Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly not, one. apparently. <laughs> Um, okay, let's talk about something else then. So what, about our what can you do for me? What can I do for you? Um, well, I... What kind of man are you? Do you know, I, I love to cook for, for women. So I could, I could <laughs> cook... <laughs> <laughs> I, I could cook... For women? Yeah, yeah, I can make you breakfast. Like every, every single morning, I will make you breakfast. Oh, wow. Uh, I could also <laughs> offer just great, great chat. <laughs> 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 uh, is that that day? <laughs> no, no. It's going really well, Ryan. Yeah, yeah it's going really well. Um, <clears throat> hello. Hello. I'm Ryan. Uh, hello, Ryan. Recently single. How recent? Uh, I uh, two months. Oh gosh! Wow. <laughs> uh, well, what about you? What brings you to speed dating? Loneliness. Loneliness. Yep. Yeah. Would you say you're really lonely? Or just <laughs> No, I said lonely, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I wanted to say really lonely, I would. Yeah. Um, Stop trying to put words in my mouth. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. What else would you try to put in my mouth, eh? Yeah. <laughs> um, Explain the joke. Uh, I'll just, uh, whatever you wanted. Whatever you wanted to eat, you can have it. I'll, I'll take you out for a nice meal. Where? Let, let's go somewhere fancy. Uh, when? P- Piccolo. This Saturday. Piccolo? Piccolo? I don't know. <laughs> What's Piccolo? I'm thinking of just... I don't know, it looks nice in there. Um, I'll, t- I'll take you out for a nice meal, and then we can uh, just <laughs> get the tram back to mine. <laughs> Why are you laughing about this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I Am get, I, I wanna, a joke to you? I want to I get to know you a bit better. So, well, ask me a question, then. Yes, yes. Uh, what, what's your, what do you do for a living? I'm an accountant. Accountant? Okay. I'm not very good with numbers, so maybe... Oh, we'll you're not good getting mine, then. Ah. Uh, <laughs> have you ever said the Stephen Tries podcast? <laughs> no! <laughs> so, Are you watching it now? Your eyes strain. <laughs> um, so you have a bit of a beard going on. It oh, do you want me to be your beard? It's really good. Are you what they call gay? Uh, Can no, you not be I'm... gay in your workplace? Uh, no, we can be gay. As gay as we could be gay, so we just we just have sex with other people. Well, yeah, I'd rather not if we were actually together. Then what are you on about? Well, <laughs> what are you on about? That's <laughs> you said <laughs> beard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was complimenting your beard. No. Oh. Who cuts yours? Uh, I just trim my. Stevie mine. Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> just do it myself. Did he do your uh, fringe as well? Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's quite heavy-handed. <laughs> Uh, Ryan, Ryan, I think we should uh, we should now have yet one more minute with your favourite date. Okay. Do you know you're you're not? I've, to be honest with you, and this is awful. I can't even remember your name. So I don't think you, you asked. Are out. <laughs> Did I not? No, you didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm pin. laughs> Welcome to the Ryan Show. <laughs> Um, sorry, yeah, so I'm going to leave you out, I'm sure. Oh, I hope, no! I hope the, you get lovely. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you God, get lovely. I'm so awkward in front of fake women. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you're out. Sorry. What's wrong with sorry, me? man out there. Oh, do you know Why? what? I'm going to take Shanice. Excuse me? What the fuck? Oh, fuck Man, Shanice! What's wrong oh, with me? Uh, you can get fucked. Sydney, uh, he's not getting fucked by right anyone. Then. Sydney, looks like we're going out on a date. No! <laughs> what? Why? It's on your fucking your sloppy bottoms or whatever they're called. No, 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 it's no. another minute you get. Oh, just another minute. Oh, okay. In which case, can I have another minute with... Sydney <laughs> <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, right. What would be your dream date? Dream date. Yeah. Nice man. Yeah. Well mannered. Yeah. Pays for everything. Yeah. Maybe I'll show okay. him something after. That's me. I'm well mannered. Thank you. <laughs> You're fucking not. Have you got my name? name? <laughs> You're not even in this anymore. I bloody well am. Uh, <laughs> um, What's going on here? He was rude to me, Janine. Janine! <laughs> what do you mean, Janine? Love that name. 
Um, Janine, do you, you, do you play any sports? No. no. Miss, Miss Sausage, do you play should sports? we get out of here? Yeah, let's go fuck. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> um, so that was... That was my talking point was uh, see how Ryan does on a date. Yeah, that's three. incredible. Really good, mate. Yeah, thank you. I might give it a couple more months. No, <laughs> no, you can do better. I think. I think the issue there was you didn't ask the name. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah the ask them more questions. You did ask. Yeah, yeah. And it was you know you, like you were also threatening to tie them to uh, London attractions, which isn't great. <laughs> You're very strange. <laughs> I'll make you breakfast every morning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to think I won't be that awkward. I'm sure you'd like yeah, to think like, that. Yeah, mm. we all like to think we're better than we are. Yeah. It's a dream, so, eh? Yeah. Thanks for putting that confidence back in me. Well, no, we're, we're not here to do that. You've got to do it yourself, really. Yeah, no, you're right. Mm. Can't rely on us. It's your talking point next. Oh, no, you did yours, yours, Tom. What's the biggest piece of luck that has immeasurably changed your life, like completely taken it in another direction? Probably. Mm. Um, that to be Stormzy going... Yeah, Facebook. Someone I don't even know posted it. That was lucky. Who was it? Some guy on Facebook. Oh really? Oh, yeah. It was actually just an actual Liam, individual think, person. Yeah, yeah. With his oh. with his page. Shit. Yeah. That was shit. Was good. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Posting top quality memes. Yeah. yeah, it's mad though, isn't it? My um, yeah. my great uncle. He was very like bad one. <laughs> He's warming up again yeah. now. <laughs> it's a classic story. Uh, he, he was like a he, like very, you know, just a classic, uneducated Irish labourer in Manchester near, years ago. Yeah. Went into a job interview, went in the wrong door and oh. uh, charmed his way into a job that sent him as like a rep going all around the world, you know. So. Doing what? Not really sure. We didn't really hear from him again. <laughs> Sounds like he lies a lot. <laughs> <laughs> And this has affected yeah, your yeah. life? No, not not my life. It was just an example. Like, I guess oh, just Devin, stories so, that you've so heard. So like Devon uh, didn't pick presenting. Um, she didn't. She didn't. I would never have met her if uh, you know they didn't yeah. just fuck cancel. That's the Salford Uni yeah. campus. It's so no. vast. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you didn't yeah. do presenting. God. Yeah. <laughs> what would I have done instead, though? It would have been stand up. Yeah. Wow. You could have met. You could have met. Love your life on on the stand up course. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Imagine you could have learned how to do stand up, yeah. Uh, but you know, stand up's something I can do whenever I want. Go on, then, hey, uh, go on, then. Oh, here we go, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Locke. Thank you, hey. Woo! Woo! love this guy. He's one? the one I came to see. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so, um, oh, so <laughs> I'm uh, <laughs> some audience interaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so start with you. Just get get the crown ward up. <laughs> <laughs> the crown is Mickey Vanekin after you. <laughs> the Queen doesn't like a cold crown. <laughs> what, what was that? <laughs> uh, what's your name? Tom. Tom. Oh, Tom. What do you do, Tom? Uh, I'll tell you, you could have got is this Dick and Harry, you know, yeah. just a little joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get the crowd warm, sure. Uh, yeah, he's funny. Yeah. <laughs> funny looking. Oh, oh no. wow. Wow, where to get the audience on no, side? Uh, what you don't know is that I'm a Burns victim and you've just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not going to do any more of my stand up right now. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. I'm going to PR issue to sort <laughs> <laughs> What an incredible announcement for a stand-up comedian to give just moments into his set that you've come to watch and he's paid and for. And to not leave any pause for like a, ah, oh, as you know. I'm not going to do any more of my stand-up now. Uh, What's your name? <laughs> Ugly Bird's victim, I'm out of here. That's me. <laughs> yeah, I, I was actually going to do some of my stand up, but I just couldn't remember any. Uh, <laughs> so blank. Hold it. Oh. Uh, That's good. Yeah. Ryan, what's your best piece of luck? Best piece of luck? Oh, yeah. I remember when I was in sixth form and I was oh, yeah. telling people that uh, like a lot of my mates back then they were going to like do. Geographies, uh, like, mm. do, do, like study geography geographies and sciences, though. and uh, and I said, I'm just saying to them, like, oh yeah, I'm going to go and do comedy yeah. at Salford, and I remember their faces like physically God, really? in my head being like, why? Maybe they just didn't know where Salford yeah. was. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So where, where, where was Not the so bad piece of luck in all of that? Uh, it, it was those. Look, I think it was that was That's, the moment I realised right. that oh, actually doesn't really work, up. does it? Uh, <laughs> bit yeah. weird. Yeah. Right, uh, okay. <laughs> what, what's going on here? <laughs> How's that look? 
No, you oh. would get luck. <laughs> oh, oh my no, lord. No, 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 no. Wait, like, good luck. luck, bad luck, L U C K. Right, okay. Someone luck. gave you a look. <laughs> We're from the south. Fucking hell. Right, how do you say luck? <laughs> look, 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 right, look, okay. Look, luck. Lucky. Yeah. Yeah, so luck. we just pronounce it differently. Lucky. We say luck. You say yeah, but right. the luck. context was no, everything. I know, actually, I know, I know, I know. You've I know. been here long enough. Uh, well, this, I thought you were saying when, when you were saying your story about oh, what that story? luck changed <laughs> my life. I thought you were saying that luck. <laughs> my uncle went and looked around Europe, <laughs> which is why I was a bit. I confused should be so lucky. lucky. Yeah, yeah. It's a song about a pervert. <laughs> Out. The looks they gave me. The looks they gave. Me. Yeah. <laughs> they Go on. I was a right man. <laughs> oh. Stephen lies. Stephen sweet little lies. Oh yeah, he's proper fit and gives me a wide on. Hello. Hello. <laughs> For listeners and viewers, I have nit nitral nitral. How do you pronounce this? Neutro neutrality. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's a glove. It's just I don't know. It's a what's the word before it? Then it's a special. Uh, like, glove. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's just a glove that's like you know, kind of. You sound a bit like OJ Simpson. It's not just a glove, is it? It does fit. Uh, Tom, what is yeah. this? I did. I kept this as a reminder uh, of a harrowing event. Thank you, uh, Max. This is one glove. Which for your mother's pride, one glove. Yay. For the times you cried, one glove. For the never oh, hey, one, one glove is all we need. This is my glove uh, yeah. that I got from uh, an old job, and I've kept it because it's what I used to move barrels with. Right. Uh, this is um, a, a glove that I keep on me at all times at work. Wow. What for? Uh, I keep it so I cut my hands a lot. Yeah, and, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like we say, he's lonely, but we're trying to make light of it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the time, cuts are quite deep, but plaster just won't cut it. So, very well rehearsed. You're not completely useless. <laughs> uh, so I use the the glove to stop all water getting in. Yeah. Because you cut yourself so often, why 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 is this one the one that you always keep and not use? Uh, so I, I do usually. I've used the other one already. Right. So, so that, that's been in my pocket, apron pocket, for about, I'd say, a month. Yeah. So you'd be annoyed if I, if I ripped it now? Um, I mean, hopefully Please don't. Some more in. I, I, I'm, I'm not that fast. I can get some. I can get some. Please don't. I mean, Max, I know it's not true. <laughs> Mate, please. I beg of you, please don't. I moved out. Please. And yet don't this, rip this barrel that. glove has to stay with me. Yeah. <laughs> that's my barrel glove. My barrel glove. That is 100% the glove that I used to move barrels with. It's fucking pristine. Yeah, I'd, rather, good. I'd rather you didn't destroy it. <laughs> Please don't break my fucking, my one precious item. <laughs> that, that I didn't even want to bring in today, but these two, these two begged me to bring in an item. <laughs> I said, well, all I've got is my glove that I move barrels with, that I used to wash regularly. No, no, do you smell smoke on it? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I have some respect Steve. So Tom what was this for you sorry um, So the other glove uh, oh. Little hat So uh, these are the gloves we have uh, In the in the first aid box at Lime Bar uh, Had No uh, The grease will ruin it Please Grease I've told the story before uh, Of something I had to do when the West Ham fans came in uh, I had to move uh, I had to pick a j- <laughs> Stephen <laughs> You're killing me, man! <laughs> That's Sorry. fine, it's fine. I had to pick up a giant human shit from the toilet. Uh, with this glove? No, not with that glove. With the other one. It was a one-handed job um, because it was a very solid poo. Wasn't it Tom, uh, Max, who found that poo? No, no, no. Well, I don't know. I can't remember who found it, but it was a very, very busy day. <laughs> a lot of poo, man. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, my God, guys. You won't believe it. It's a cockney poo. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I stepped up and went and moved the poo uh, because, you know... Here I guess I didn't have to, but someone had to move it. Yeah. Uh, and I just thought, I'm going to look back on this. <laughs> when I'm on my yacht. When I've made it, sipping a pina colada on the You're beach. You're making a yacht. Well, yeah. Well, I, look, I look back on, you know, the time I had to pick up an actual human shit <laughs> in work. Uh, so I, I, I found this glove in my uh, just random... Uh, I keep so much shit... Uh, and once I make a decision to keep oh, so you pick it up, <laughs> yeah. 
That's one, nice. <laughs> but once I make a decision to keep something, honestly, you've got like rece- some of them is stupid, like receipts and tickets or whatever, or just things that I've had on different days. Of course, the receipts. Um, yeah, yeah. And Excuse me. I decide to keep them in a moment, and then they go in the box, and it's like. That's beautiful, man. Yeah, but I'll, I'll, sometimes I will have to go into the box to find something, and I'll find stuff that I thought, oh, why did I keep that? Or maybe, you know, if I, I, had, if I, I had my time again, that wouldn't make the cup. But, uh, uh, cup. So, so I actually put this to one side a few weeks ago. <sighs> why? For, for this. Don't degrade it like that, man. Come on. <laughs> it doesn't deserve that. <laughs> Do you want to interrogate Max? No. Um, <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> I think even if it is true, I just think it's such a weird thing to keep on my barrel glove when I've used it. My barrel glove? <laughs> Which you've not used. Have you never, mate, have you never moved a barrel, mate? That's perfect. That's been used so much. I remember he did say to me after he got that promotion, it's, 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 so you know, people respect me now. Yeah. People, yeah. people are talking to me differently. People are giving me the blue glove. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to base this on... The bags <laughs> mine being open. <laughs> Yours not moved. I just, I just think it's Ryan's. Um, so I'm going to go for Ryan. I could be wrong. But, but I've enjoyed this, and that's the whole yeah. point of this. Yeah, that's what it's segment. about, having fun. Yeah. having fun. Yeah, you're right, but for the wrong reasons. Uh, I actually didn't move my bag at all. <laughs> well, we actually, Tom actually moved his bag. bag. <laughs> wow. Egg on my face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not, I didn't even use it, mate. Yeah, Never I, used I it. I in my pocket. No, no, I think it is Max's really. <laughs> <laughs> Can you Bow see him up? when he was slapping <laughs> the side of his head? It's now time for... Viewers, viewers most embarrassing yeah, moment. Yeah, hey, I've got to Love this segment. Uh, this one is from... Southall J. <laughs> Last proper day of year 11, and I'm at lunch in my English teacher's classroom who's doing interviews about something for a year 7 assembly. Me and my mates were sitting in, the, sitting in there doing random shit, and I decided to do a slip drop for some reason. My trousers ripped completely in half from <sighs> ass to cock while my mates were watching. The sound uh, it made can, can only be described as one of Max's farts. <laughs> this went on while an interview was happening, and you could hear me shout, Oh fuck, in the video. Anyway, my English teacher thought I farted and sent me out the room with two of my mates and remind me I've got an assembly in 20 minutes with the entire year so I wrap my coat around my waist and hope for the best while walking out of English behind me were my other mates who would definitely take the piss out of me they spend five minutes trying to pull the coat from my waist <laughs> and, they lo- and they lock me in a small room with a big <laughs> with a big window looking in and try to make me twerk and swirl so they could see the rip then a group of people walk past and they decide to get in on the action after five minutes of them screaming at me to twerk and show them the rip they start sending people in to take the coat from me so I end up having a wrestling match with about ten people in a small room to protect my dignity Nutted someone in the bollocks and then let go, but they wouldn't. But they wouldn't stop until they see my ass. Wow, what a journey that boy yeah. went on! Yeah, yeah. Last day of last day yeah. of year eleven as well. Yeah. That's how you got to look at it. You know, it's your last day. <laughs> so you would do it on year eleven. The fuck is this guy? Yeah. <laughs> no, he just goes to the last year, last day of year eleven. Just don't let it get <laughs> ripping. <to you>. <laughs> <laughs> so look, this is the way you got to look yeah, at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you won't see a lot of these people again. Or me. <laughs> I'll be away for a while. Mm. It's now time for Maxi's Taxis. And uh, he sent me a range of jingles, so... This is big one. It's Maxi's Taxis. Wow, Max, your new segment, Maxi's Taxis. Hey, exciting. Based on what we discussed, Max, um, Tom, Ryan and myself... We'll each write down a word. Yeah. And if you or the taxi operator mentions that word, you'll have to put a sour sweet in your mouth. Yeah. Now we- and continue the conversation. <laughs> I'm thinking you should maybe call up to, first of all, get a price range for a journey. The one I've got is a Manchester one. So you could ask how much would it cost to go to Alton Towers from here. <laughs> maybe something like that. And then uh, then you could talk about booking it okay. when you want to do it. So we, we're going to write down a word each. Yeah. On this phone, do I? Am I going to hear what the word is? You won't. You don't. I you don't, don't even know. know what the word is. But I, once it's done, I won't change it. Okay. <sighs> right, here we go. We'll have to try and be quiet. Yeah. Nine nine seven. Good afternoon. Hello, mate. Um, can I get a price check, please? You can, mate. Where from? I uh, well, so it's in for another. It's on a what day is it today? Is it Tuesday? Wednesday today, isn't it? Yeah, it's all 
day, mate. Oh, <laughs> classic, mate. Uh, you know what? So on Sunday, I'm uh, I'm going to Alton Towers. <laughs> you got to be from Alton Road. No, you know Alton Towers, the big the uh, roller coaster. Where, from where are we taking you from, mate? Um, you know Market Street in town. Well, in Market Street, mate, because you can't drive down a lot of Market Street. Mate. Oh, you're kidding me. Um, no, not Market Street. Do you know any streets around Market Street? Spencers. Yeah, Marks and Spencers, mate. I'm not Mark and Spencers, man. No, no, I don't like Mark and Spencers. Is there a Poundland? What's that, mate? Is there a Poundland in the area? No, there isn't, mate. No. Oh, I think I'm on the wrong Market Street. Um, you know Alton Towers? Yeah, was it, is it from Market Street in town? Yeah. You know what, Market Street, I've got an idea. I'll be outside Mark and Spencer's on uh, Sunday. So, can we get from there to Alton Towers, please? <laughs> What's the price on that, mate? Mandem needs a price check. Yeah, when, when will you be going? On Sunday. What time? After church. Right, it'd be about 160 quid, mate, set there. How much? 160, mate. No, never. I've been a million years, mate. 72 miles, mate. I'm catching a pound of gallon now. No, you're kidding. No, no, mate, I'm not. This is a bad time. Did he end up? <laughs> My favourite very so on Market Street bit. <laughs> Why didn't we put Poundland? <laughs> I'm thinking of the wrong Market Street. Can I have a service? Yeah. Oh, Go on, Ryan, come and have one with us. Oh, right then. Such a lad. Thank you. That was Maxi's Taxis, everyone. Good, man. A, a rip roaring wow. start for Maxi's Taxis. Well done, Max. Well done, mate. That was good. It's Maxi's Taxis. That wasn't a car. <laughs> oh. oh, it's my tongue. It's just... Hey, why don't you get out into I... negative? I will. What's your language as well? Oh. I like it. Clear off. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh dear. How are you? <laughs> Not bad. Just uh, popping in off the street. Can I ask your name, please? Hey, my name's Craig Lollipop. <laughs> Craig Lollipop. Craig Lollipop. Right. What you do, Craig? Uh, I. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what would you do? I've just been sacked for sleeping with a customer. I'm. Has- <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty hashtag fuming about it. Yeah. Where do you work? Uh, so I work at Asda. <laughs> really? Dressed like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I work at various. I assume houses. you're a contractor, aren't you? Yeah. So you're not actually contracted I, to Asda. I, 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 so it's very, uh, various. Uh, uh, I'm so mind. sorry. I feel very rude at the moment. Would you like a sweet? Yeah. With a name like Lollipop, I bet you would. Yeah, of course. I, I, I love sour sweets as well. Sour the better. That's what oh, I always say. Them. Ah, Where have your hands been? I just got one. <laughs> I've got a fish. Oh, not really a fish. You got a face. <laughs> it's, uh, I've got this thing what I love sour sweets as well. Um, uh, you are a complex man. You are constantly. I can't. I can't do it. Well, you weren't sucking one when you came in. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it. Do you mean like you can't not have a sour sweet? Oh, I. It's the the sourness. Like I don't even like it. Are you, is it, is it a bit like when people have uh, sour sauce, not sour, sorry, uh, spicy food, yeah. mm. and it just becomes the sensation of, uh, of that? that they... I like the reward system from it. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Dopamine. Like, once I've got through the sour, you get a delicious taste. That's mm. great, Craig. But I'm trying to lick it as much as I can. Oh, yeah. No, That's okay. why you got sacked, is it? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> I did bad. get sacked. That's the issues at hand, Craig. My contractor, because I was slept with someone that after. Who? At Asda. I, I was working at Asda at the time. And you slept with them at Asda? In the store. I, so I slept with someone at Asda. Who? Um, uh, it was this girl that works <laughs> behind the till. Oh, yeah. Aye. A cashier. Aye. Aye. An attractive one as well. All right. Nice. Oh, wow. Aye. Good wow. for you, mate, yeah? I'm very lucky I was. How old are you, Craig? Uh, me? I'm, I'm, I'm 25. You're stumbling over that. Mm. Mm. I'm 25. How old was this girl that you slept with? About 62. <laughs> 
She was an older, <laughs> an older fit, girl. A fit 62. Yeah. She's definitely I'm, older, yeah. I'm more into the older women, the nice. gilfs. Mm. Well, the gilfs, I love what's them. the What's the oldest person you've had sex with? Uh, Living. She'll probably uh, have a sweet Craig. All right. Uh, probably about 80. But yeah. to be fair, I, I didn't even want to that time. Right. Why? I wanted to do it to see how high of an age I could go. Did she have a sour puss? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He did. <laughs> I like that. I, I feel like I get on with Scottish people, you know. We've got that same, same sort of sense of humour here. I, uh, <laughs> what was your so, job at Asda, Craig? <laughs> oh, oh, I, so, I, I'm in charge of putting out all the chemicals in the store. They have chemicals so, in store? I, really? I, I, I mean, like the sell it bang. Well, what happened is Asda had this huge plate of bleach and they dropped it. So I had to go in there with my mop and clean it up. So somebody keeps dropping bleach. Mm. Do you have do you have a partner you work with who happens to spill bleach in shops that gets you work? Uh, well, it's sort of a, my my boss works with all the supermarkets knocking over bleach. It's, uh, it's uh, quite a common problem. <laughs> it's really, Is it? it's supermarkets people are before. always knocking off chemicals. Knocking off, knocking off chemicals. selling their own brand. Knocking over, <laughs> shill it bang, <laughs> shill it uh, boom. <laughs> It's a, it's a tough job. It's quite dangerous sometimes as well. A lot of my mates are like up on oil rigs and things, but I'm like, nah. You're on the bleach rig. Yeah. yeah. As do. You thought of bleach in your hair? Uh, I thought about it. Yeah. I just haven't got the confidence. <laughs> oh, you could you could pull that off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So cr- it's real. It's Jesus. That. No, it's not. Imba- oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Perhaps you were a lucky boy, Craig. <laughs> Have a sweet, have I'm a sweet. Turn into a new man. Have have a sweet. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, enjoy yourself. Pop a couple of them in your mouth. <laughs> oh God, Craig, can I ask a question, please? All right. What's the, what's the what's the best look you've had in uh, <laughs> in life? The best look when I was about seventeen. Yeah, I used to have really long hair. Right. And I used to be able to tie it into a big bun. <laughs> and the women used to. <coughs> <laughs> it's a cop. Did your hair get in the mouth? Were well, you 17 during the pandemic? Kind of look again. <laughs> <laughs> He's incredible. Honestly, I was a bit of a player back in the day. But what did you play? How did you do it? Oh, just women. You played women? <laughs> oh, oh, that's not yeah, cool. I know, I know. Yeah. I, like I said, I was a bit of a player. Now I'm a bit of a player, but around the retirement home. <laughs> <laughs> Can I put one of these in your water? Oh, lovely sour water. You look that thing. I Maybe two. Yeah. Wow. Well, you done, you love chemicals, I can tell. You've been with you. an old man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the husband did walk in. Oh. Into the store. A- apparently. So it was during working he hours. He was in Anstead at the time. Was this while there was a bleach spillage still in place? Mm. We didn't have sex in the beach aisle. Uh, bleach aisle. <laughs> sex on the beach? <laughs> I'll have one sex on the bleach, please. <laughs> we did it in the jar I've section. Got, I've got an idiot, mate, who'd probably make that at TGI's as well. <laughs> Sounds like a lad. <laughs> no. 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 Basically, what I'm, what I'm here for is just to let you know that... <laughs> you <laughs> you're for work. If you do spill any bleach on the floor... Right, call you're not the man to call. Well, call someone. Or well, if you're going to call me, call me. Well, you, but you've no, been no. sacked, right? Yeah, you're not in that job anymore, mate. I. But you've still got the skills, well, though. I've started up my own business. Oh, what's that? A similar thing. Similar, but not quite. Go on. But not you, quite, you fuck quite. old women on bleach. That's not my job. That's a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've started up my, my own my own business now, <laughs> where uh, it's just sorting out uh, washing machines. Oh yeah! Wow. Uh, what, what are the, what that are the is different, different. and the, not similar at all. <laughs> what are the different parts you have to fix on a washing machine? Well, so the doors and the buttons. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> the doors and the buttons. I like to. Uh, there's a lot of issues with the drum. So I had to get oh, in yeah. there. Put, put you had me, to get uh, in there. Put my safety specs on and get in the drum. How was that? Tight, but I mean, I'm all getting there. You're not used to the tight holes, are you? I'm surprisingly flexible. <clears throat> are you? Well, you can work any time now. Hey. <laughs> you lost your job, Craig. Yeah, I did. I lost you my job. You fucked an old woman during, yeah, so during the store it, hours. Yeah. I can barely walk. Why are, you still wearing, <laughs> why are you still wearing your work clothes? Because you Parkinson's. Oh, these are mine. They wanted me to take them home and wash them and return them. Not what they're turning this. His washing machine's broken. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get someone out to fi- Well, I fix it myself. <laughs> sure. But oh, you slipped up there, Craig. Was, um, What's going on here? You probably slipped on the bleach. Well, the reason I'm starting this new job is because I tried to fix my new washing machine. And you were unable. Uh, a disaster. Okay, that is good logic. Um, yeah, but well, maybe I, I maybe you learn how point. to. Yeah. Do you have any other skills, Craig? I'm surprisingly good at climbing trees. Well, I'd have to escape, old man. Mm. Or hide. 
Wow. Hard, yeah, hide up there. It's on the open. Now. I thought you meant the place hide in Scotland. Mm. Mm. Um, but you want to fix washing machines, yeah? That's the dream. And you don't know how to do that? No. Craig, did the, oh, did the chemicals uh, affect your hair? Uh, is that I, why you wear this wig? Oh, wait Craig, a minute, Craig. Craig. <laughs> Craig, that is a great head of hair you've got. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> Especially from I, behind. I can imagine. <laughs> and a bad time view. <laughs> I, I'm quite ready to go back on the date, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> you know what, Craig? Craig, I'll do you a massive favour here. You can speed date each of us <laughs> to get your confidence back. You know, oh. you've lost your job, you've lost your hair. Why don't you, why don't you come and date us three? You know what, there's nothing more I'd love more. Let's do it then. Eh? There's nothing I'd love more. <laughs> Who would you want to date first? Uh, I'll go for you. All right, we'll just have a minute. Go on then. All right, okay. <laughs> Hi, gorgeous, you're late. Hello. What have you been up to? Something fun? Just read to the bingo. Oh, the bingo? Hey. I like the bingo. Do like, you? Uh, um, my, my penis is described as the, the, the snake eyes of <laughs> the game. Two eyes. <laughs> Your penis has got two holes. What's going on there, Flair? I don't know. Um, <laughs> what else do you like to do on the bingo? I, I don't do much. No. I go to the bingo. I get visited by my son. That's about it. Oh, that's alright. What more do you need? Do you need a... How's your washing machine going? That's right. It's fine, yeah. I go to the laundry. Oh, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, son? You're, you're looking at me like you're all kinds of funny. You know what? I'm done with this date. I haven't seen that look in a man's eyes since, mate. That's enough questions. And I'm not that interested. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's, what's your name, beautiful ass? Why don't you double date them? <clears throat> ah. Is it, Together? He doesn't look too keen to date you, though. He's, Hello, mate. He's scowling at you. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful ladies. How are you doing? Thank you. Very well, <laughs> thanks. How long you been out? <laughs> how long you been out? Since today? Pride last year. <laughs> Start again. You don't have to tell me that, Craig. Ladies. <laughs> You're doing great. Hi. Mm-hmm. I hear you like a man in a suit. Where'd you hear that from? Who's been spreading rumours about me? <laughs> I just assumed that was all. Say that's every woman. I, th- woman. I think I think when they say suit, they mean like a you know like a three piece sort of thing, not a hazard suit. Not hazard suit. I thought they're saying was soup. <laughs> 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 Do you know this guy's the human crouton? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck me! What the hell was I talking about? What that's, a day. That's it. Fuck me. Tell them. Beautiful ladies. Thank right. you. Tonight I'm going back to Maine. <laughs> Do you do that every night, Craig? You <laughs> <laughs> should come around, play DVD. with my Bobby. Play with you what? My Bobby. Oh, what's that? You have a son? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Bobby, it's Scottish for cock. Oh, Craig Lollipop. Oh, you poo. are a... Oh, poo, I can't remember. Play with my <laughs> shit. Bobby and I don't Jordan like where this is going. Uh, basically, no. you're coming around mine, mate. Right? I've rented... I'm um, just doing it, am I? I don't want to do that. I've rented Will Stardust. Be soup? I'm busy, baby. I've rented Polar Express. <laughs> In June. <laughs> <laughs> Give him another sweet. <laughs> Do you another sweet, Craig? I, I fucking love him. <laughs> oh, I can't go. I fucking love him. <laughs> See you, Craig. <laughs> Bye, Craig. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Were you uh if you see if you see a little boy out there, will you tell him his segment's coming up right now? <laughs> see you, Craig. Nice guy. Hello, mate. You're right. Hi, Ryan. He's just in time for Ryan's Frying. Oh, oh yeah. Right then, welcome to Ryan's Frying. <laughs> so this is where I've basically just come up with my own restaurant. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to just oh. tell you a little bit about this restaurant. Uh, I'll start with the name. It's called QQ. It's all about quality, not quantity. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> now I say it out loud. <laughs> Why don't Why don't you call it Q not Q? That sounds, yeah, 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 sounds yeah. more pretentious. No, just Just Q now. No Q Q, which is not a good thing. Q, yeah. yeah, because one of Q-ing. those Qs is redundant yeah. anyway. Because you're yeah. not about yeah. that. Yeah. Well, the thing is, it, it's just going to come up now. Just say quality, quantity, quality, quality and quantity. quantity. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so yeah. it's not very sexy, is it? Like a, nah, nah, but to be honest, like a nice buffet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Say you just want uh, a, a little snack or something like that. My restaurant, you you can buy crisps, nuts, or all sort of snacks. You, it's like a convenience store. Or a pub. Mm-hmm. Or like a pub, yeah. yeah. But, um, <laughs> there's not a huge range of alcohol there, to be honest. Okay. Um, but it, at this restaurant, you pay for the service as opposed to the quality of food. The food <laughs> is the same. Like, it's... Uh, so it's just crisps and nuts. 
Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> but, so there's not much to drink. Very limited. Well, no, there's a lot to drink, just not a lot. Of and you have very so. salty foods that are made to make you thirsty. And yet your name is Quality, not Quantity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> quality crisps and nuts. Yeah, quality crisps and nuts, mate. And you, but you pay, you pay for the service. So if you want like a, a, a nice time out, you can have the six course nuts tasting and menu. <laughs> crisps. <laughs> multi pack crisps. of crisps. <laughs> yeah, and so like fine dining. Are these just going to be like regular crisps that you can buy, like different brands of crisps? Any, any crisp, mate. It's got all the crisps. Okay, so we, crisps you can get from the shops. What so if you have a nut There's nothing original about this at all, well, other original. than the concept. And, and the price varies on how, how well your staff <laughs> bring over the crisps yeah, yeah. and nuts. Yeah, so if you want a nice service, a six course tasting menu, I'll come over like in a suit and I'll serve it to you. <laughs> And what it kind of suit? Really good, but if you don't, if you want the cheaper option, it'd just be like a, a ditch, and I'll just what a ditch? <laughs> not a ditch. A ditch inside the restaurant, like a yeah, trough, yeah, a trough so of yeah, crisps. I will dig a ditch. What about a nut allergy? Nut allergy. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't really cater. You can have crisps, though, surely. Yeah, yeah, no, no. To be fair, there is a corner of the room. Which for in the one same. corner of the room for crisps. Fair, no, no. Where it was a nuts, no a nuts, nut free zone. Nut free zone. Yeah, yeah. What, what about if women women misinterpret that as they can't go yeah. there? And why's it got uh, air I'll, have, I'll have another. There. I'll have a poster outside that says "Women welcome to." A poster. So, so you don't currently have one. Uh, no, I don't currently have that poster. No. Oh. Yeah. Do you have a kids' menu? Yep. Yeah, kids' menu. Talk to me about it. Like fruit talk, talk to me about that gulp you did after uh, you said that, though. You hadn't thought about it. <laughs> What's bad service for a kid? Yeah. It, it would probably be knocking over their drink. Okay. <laughs> so no, that's bad for anyone. So well, adults don't just go, yeah. <laughs> good one. Yeah. Mum comes in with the two kids. Yeah. You know, it's end of the month. She's struggling a bit. She's looking at the menu. She can only afford the cheapest option on the menu. Yeah. And you're going to go over and just push her kids' drinks over. <laughs> and just... And throw crisps at them, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, take your... Yeah. yeah. Thanks for your service. Thanks for your money. <laughs> it's <laughs> quality, not quantity. <laughs> and then you turn around Who's from that <laughs> to go and go and speak to the six-course glamorous family. Yes, but... We're like, still like just like essentially getting crisps and nuts. As you, as you yeah, wipe the like, spit like, off your things lips. Things like nachos. You. Nachos, you know? Yeah, like crisps. Fancy nachos. Just any crisps. type of crisp. Yeah, mate. All it's very beige and dry. Hey, sometimes you just want to go in for a, like, a little snack. Yeah, no, but a six-course fucking snack. <laughs> Who's sitting down for this? Hey, thousands of people. No, they're not. They also, <laughs> I still think I'm in a character, to be honest. If you ordered a shit service, it sounds like all your food is getting destroyed anyway. Yeah. You're getting your drinks going to be stomping on the be crisps. throwing stuff oh, at you. Right, yeah. Just like, why, why would anyone pay for that? <laughs> it's the experience. It, and the good service sounds shit. Yeah, yeah. It, if, if anything, you... It's just him in a suit. <laughs> That's good service. It doesn't matter what he says. I'm in a suit, so it's good. <laughs> I'm not going to be a part of no, this. No. I don't even want to go. I, if yeah, you're I, looking I for investors, I say no. The, the best seat in the house probably is just the middle of the range. Then you can see all the drama. It's, it's like a sort of 40 Towers experience. Right. But with uh, you pay how much. So if everyone comes in and orders, orders the middle experience yeah. to see all this drama, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> how, how might the night look? What do you mean? There'll be nothing happening, will there? Oh, oh I see. Oh, Everyone's well, just looking at each other. Of tables, so how many tables? Yeah, but if everyone orders the same option. Uh, 50 tables. That's quite a lot of tables. There's, there's tons of tables. It's also, like, what's in between <laughs> getting a suit and getting stuff thrown at you? What's the middle service? Just place um, down with a tie on. About fiver. <laughs> no, 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 no. no what's no the price? difference? <laughs> what do you mean? Right, so if you're Sorry, telling me, me, it's five pounds for the middle <laughs> service, how much is the shit service going to cost? <laughs> you're oh, telling shit me. Shit service. Isn't it? So I it's mean, gonna be dead cheap. You're I mean, telling still me I pay people. Yeah, but like two pounds, right? Two, you get to keep the bowl. Yeah, but here's the question. R- regardless of where you. Here's sit. the question. The shit service yeah. is you knocking a kid's drink over and throwing nuts in their face. <laughs> right. Yeah. The good service is you wearing a suit. <laughs> What's the middle service? So uh, just like a just, shirt. Just, yeah. Just, Told you about five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> black jeans, black top. Just. Can I ask a question? Right. What if? Uh, well, if a family comes in, they have a disabled child, but they want the, the cheapest option. Right. Are you, are you seriously <laughs> going to throw crisps and nuts at a disabled kid? Yeah. I mean, if I, they I paid for it. What, what, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Ryan, that is a shit idea. Well, funny, though. <laughs> it's now time for Tom Looney. <laughs> Looney, 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 Looney. Oh. Hello, welcome to uh, another edition of Tom Looney, your favourite segment. 
Yeah. This week. Looney. You now we like to play for prizes. I like to rely on the source yeah. for a second. Yeah, me too. I've only gone and found the ultimate prize. <gasps> Imagine all the prizes that I've got. for Q, not Q. I saw this the other week. And just oh, it is? Oh. oh, I saw that. Yeah, the other day. Yeah. For it's, listeners, yeah. it's a kilogram of yeah. Bickies. Wow. Straight from the house of Lancaster. Yeah. Oh. You know. So it's a quiz about me. Okay. Oh, oh. God. Some of them are nice and easy. Some of them not so easy. Some of them you have to guess based on, you know, thinking right. you know me. Ten questions. Number one, how old am I? Number two, what position do I play in football? <laughs> Is this 11 aside? Yeah. How specific? It can be in, in the region of the pitch. <clears throat> uh, number three what's my favourite segment on the podcast oh that's tricky man so there will be a bit of guesswork in here for what's my least favourite yeah, segment on the really podcast really a lot of fucking guessing here boys what's his favourite segment yeah Ooh. I haven't got a clue I think that's a tricky one I think they're both tricky <laughs> remember this is me you know just being honest you know mm. uh, I've answered all these honestly number five who is my celebrity crush <laughs> <laughs> Six, what's Tom's favourite day of the week? Number seven, who's the last podcast member I'd want to be stuck on a desert island with? Mm. <laughs> Eight, favourite colour? And last two are uni based. Number nine, what was my favourite comedy module? And number ten, what was my least favourite module? I've done mine. Yeah, we've done them. Yeah. yeah. I just mark them yourselves. I am 31 years old. Yes! We all got that Tick. right. Nice and easy start. Uh, in football, I play on the left wing. Oh, I've left put winger off. slash striker, is that okay? Uh, what did you put? But left field. <laughs> left field? Uh, that's a left put? field answer. Forward slash striker. Oh, I'm going to give a point to Max. But le- that could be left back. Left field. Oh, do you know what? No points for anyone. Yes! Okay. So you can go I know, you, you can get a point. You didn't get a point. Right, point, sure. point Shh, keep it quiet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my favourite segment on the podcast is Ryan's crying. Yes! Yeah. Yes! yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, my least favourite segment is Who's That Quote From? Oh, oh of course. <laughs> yeah, one of mine. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, Max. <laughs> that, that does not represent you. Uh, who's my celebrity crush? Enya. Adele. I don't have one. It was Adele last oh, time I, I asked. Oh, because I, I, I said I didn't put anything. Yeah, because I'm not interested. I, I had to come up with something just to play along with you the segment. You told me Adele last time. So, do I get that uh, right? Yeah, you can have that. I'm not really asked about Adele. Uh, I was just, just playing a game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My favourite day of the week is a Friday. God damn hey. Yeah. And the last podcast member I want to be stuck on a desert island with... Joe McGrath? James? Me? So close. I went for Dave. I thought <sighs> the guy can't even order his own dinner. Uh, That's true enough. It just, I think he'd be so useless. Dave and Dave's Yeah, It was very close to being Joe, but I thought, I think somewhere Joe's got a will to live. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Favourite colour is purple. Fuck. Favourite comedy module? Comedy writing and performance. Presenting. It was the PRP. Uh, What was that? Our sketch show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was fun. I forgot about that. Great time. Uh, uh, Number 10. Video. Video project. Video project, yeah. Ah. How many have we got? I got five. Five. Four. Four. What a load of fun that was. Yeah. There we go. Stephen. It might be Max. I don't think it is. He's not well, interested. Count them up. Didn't even count his hand. Despondent. I don't want your biscuits. If I may have won. You it's definitely nothing, have. No, you have. There's nothing it's not like I got more three. to see you yeah. tuck in. Wow. Wow. Wait. Jesus Christ. It's a shopping bag with a sort of biscuit. Some of them broken. Yeah. Are we all? Yeah, uh, God. That looks real good. Okay, can we show it to the uh, the viewers? Life's yeah. like a bag of biscuits. Oh, look at that. oh, I want that one. That's, oh, that's a great biscuit. What a treat. Want a bite? How much were these? Oh, can't say, can't say. You stop. <laughs> <laughs> Five finger discount, baby. There's <laughs> <laughs> blue glove on the other one on the ship. <laughs> it's time for bullet to the max. Yay. Mm. Biscuits. <laughs> Bickies, Bickies. <laughs> Oh, no, man. <clears throat> Look, I'm a simple man. I work hard to provide for me family. My oldest son, Billy, just turned 19, and he has a small brother, Sam, who was born last month. <laughs> <laughs> they truly are the apple of me and my wife, Marie's eyes. But Marie, recently my one and only hobby has been intruded on. I love nothing more than coming home from a day's hard graft and playing with my wife. Jebs, it's me passion. 
<laughs> so I'm so sorry, Ryan's not having his biscuit. Fuck's sake. Ryan! A little mortar bottle to keep me going, but no! <laughs> My son needs his supper. He's a growing boy. You can't play with these, you spoil the milk. Ree! <laughs> How do I get through to my son that I need my time alone? I've begged. I've pleaded. Please, Billy. Just for one night, let Daddy have a go. <laughs> but he won't listen. <laughs> Help me out, lads. Good question. Really good question. So, so the 19-year-old son is <laughs> chomping those boobs. Mm. And the dad's like, hey, share them. Yeah. <laughs> Just for one night. <laughs> Why don't we help this out? <laughs> We've got a... Uh, the father. Yeah. Why don't you be the dad? Fine. <laughs> we could have because the nineteen year old, the mother, and the neighbour. <laughs> <sighs> How are you, Darren? Oh, I'm good, thank you. Good, thank you. I have been hearing a lot of noise. Just thought I'd come over to check everything's alright. Everything's fine, is it? Is everything okay in your life? Whee! It's never been better. Oh god. You scumbag. Oh, Mm. Sorry about you this, You prick Darren. as well. Oh Mind your own business. Oh, sorry, I was just Fucking concerned. Fucking hell. Just... <laughs> boys, boys, boys. Treat Weird. Darren with respect. Thank you, thank you. I treat you with the dis- respect you deserve and it's none. <laughs> you. You do respect none. What's nuns. up, Daddy? <laughs> you know what's up? No, I don't. Daddy wants his go on the fun bags. The biscuit, you're fuming when you haven't had your biscuit. <laughs> um, to be fair. <laughs> Cookies and milk is his favourite. <laughs> I'm not. Give me your milk. What the hell? hell? <laughs> Darren! In my fucked up family, you're the fucking Darren. weird one! Well, I Darren, never I never had you down as a creep. Uh, well, look, uh, I heard some noise and. I I've always to, had you pegged as a wrong uh, one. I wanted to come round and double. You mean begging the neighbour, do? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you were okay, that's all. Darren, I all am of... more than okay. Look at these sumptuous breasts. Mm, they sure are. <laughs> <laughs> What? Naked What's feet. wrong with you? <laughs> Go find your own breast to play with. These are mine. No, mine. Learn to share. Technically, they're the communities. <laughs> what? <laughs> the community. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you fucking freak. <laughs> you come over here because you hear some noises, do you? Yes, and I was Need worried. to start locking door. <laughs> I was worried that my friend yeah. might be <laughs> yeah, in yeah, He had some lips smacking a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, I'd better get round. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what are you doing with the tub of Nesquik? What's going on here? <laughs> Have you been waxing your arms again, you weirdo? Yes, yes. You want to talk? Yeah, I did this for reason. I said what? I wanted your pubes for reason. Love that. <laughs> it's my job. Have a biscuit. You're fuming with your biscuit. <laughs> oh, fucking angry. <laughs> Would you like a biscuit, Darren? Uh, no, thank yeah, you. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. You like those ones, Darren? Yeah, yeah bend over. <laughs> <laughs> Me son will peg you. <laughs> True and proper. All right, well, mother and daughter better have a little chat for a second. <laughs> no mother and daughter's here, you idiot. All oh, right. <laughs> you coming in here? Stop. Take that. Take that back to number 42. That was my bag. <laughs> no, no, no. You off to 42s? Uh, yes, I what am. What are you going in there for? You fucking creep. Mind your own fucking a business, time, Darren. You're all 18 year old. You're about 56. Nah, you can go into a club at any age. Why don't you spend some time in your own house? Uh, I do spend a lot of time mm. in my own house, but I can't hear over all the shouting and all the, ooh, boobies. <laughs> What's I going? hear it Darren, constantly. Darren, we don't your own home. Boobies. What? I think you're hearing things. What's happening at home? Not a whole lot. Is what everything all right, here? Darren? <laughs> <laughs> Darren's lonely. Talk to us, Darren. I, 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 yes, I'm, all right, I am. A bit, sure, you're a freak. I'm a bit lonely. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm, why are you a freak? Not, not quite. A freak. What about your flatmate, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's 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 paid off the mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> he left years ago. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Boots. So, Darren. Uh, this is really inappropriate, Darren. You potty mouth now. Can we take oh, this off the street, all please? I, all I hear is you shouting, <laughs> yes, Must mommy. be a jubilee party. <laughs> yes, mummy, your breasts. Constantly. I'm sick of it. I don't shout that. I never no, hear that. It. Keep the noise down. Fuck off. I wear headphones when he sucks them. I love my podcast. And I'll suck for hours in silence. <laughs> he does. Darren, what's wrong? I'm not happy about any of this. Were you a formula boy, were you? I, I wasn't even in the start. I was written into this start, you know. Darren, Darren, you've just broken our fourth wall of the house there. <laughs> what 
What's going on? It's just been a very long day. I do apologise. Have a biscuit. What's, I, up, I, what's I, happened, I Darren? I have any more biscuits, thank just you. Just have this one. I, I can't just have it. one, man. I can't chew anything. Darren, Darren you're a guest in our house, and as long as you're a guest in our house, you'll eat our biscuits. Can I have a smaller one, then, please? No! It'll be smaller once you start eating it. Just eat your half, Darren. Get out of my face! Just have half, Darren. You're a smaller one. You came to our bloody house. It's, it's as big as you think it'll be. I, I, please, please. Give Darren a smaller I'm fucking biscuit. I'm scared to give you a smaller one because you bite my fingers. There you go, Darren. You've got <laughs> oh what you've got, Darren. Long, you know. Imagine that on your nips. <laughs> <laughs> right, then. I'm going to go. Darren, no, now. Darren, talk to Thank us. Frig. I'm going back to my house. Sounds like you've got nothing to go home for. And I've got to tell you this. Your robe came undone about 20 minutes ago, Darren. <laughs> no! <laughs> talk about chewing a small one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, fine. <laughs> it stinks as well, Darren. Yeah. <laughs> you know, have a biscuit. Mm. Have a bicky, Darren, for your Go travels. On. Take a biscuit for the road. I know I have to keep my men happy. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, Darren, you friggin'. Oh, save, Darren. You're going to clean that up? <laughs> oh, with your on, mouth. Then. With your with mouth, mouth, Darren. Go on, Darren. Oh, you'll not be welcome. Oh. Just head for the kitchen. Make sure you take those home. Definitely I can't, I can't be taking them, mate. No, I'm not really supposed to have dairy. Oh, this is my fucking bag. No, we didn't throw it. Oh, crushed it. it. You said you wanted that one as well. <laughs> Plus, it wasn't one, it was about three. <laughs> no, it's just one that you crushed. One of each. Um, so, to help with this issue, <sighs> 19 years old, stop breastfeeding now, yeah? Yeah. 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 And maybe don't play with your wife's breasts. I don't think it's a simple case of breastfeeding. I think there's something more going on here. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's a ruse. Uh, Are you sure it's your son? It could the, be a, yeah. a man. This is it, man. Don't trust your Dad needs to wake up. Don't trust your neighbours. Wow. Oh. Our neighbour was a bit weird. Lock him Where? Just then. What was up with him? Oh, I think? thought you meant in real life. I thought What's your back kind in of High uh, Wickham. Oh, no, no. Uh, quite normal in High Wickham, actually. Mm. Ish. He was quite coy, Darren, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. I didn't like him. No, what do you think his issue was, Ryan? Um, I think he just got asked too many questions. Really? He got <laughs> asked. Does he not like being questioned? <laughs> well, no, no. I think, you know, he was there to observe some. Um, Why was he there to observe? Should be in someone else's house observing. So, well, so he's that. in his own home. He's hearing <laughs> he <was> sexual <laughs> screams. If you went, if you, if you went home. And there was just someone in your house observing. Wouldn't you ask them questions? Like, oh, yeah. what you would you think, oh, fair enough, he's just there to observe? Yeah, yeah. Or would you say, well, Ryan, fuck you, Why did we ask yeah. questions? Okay, there is yeah, method right. to this madness. Yeah. You're so right, you're so right. This is basic improv. You should do a course on it. Yeah. yeah. And? Oh, that's golden. Yes. It's now time for the final question. It's the final question. <laughs> would you rather copy... The movements of everyone you speak to or copy the accent of everyone you speak to? Movement. Yeah? Yeah. So you're sat in a, maybe maybe a big speech yeah. uh, and yeah. the person's going like that, they're talking, and you're just sat there doing everything yeah. they're doing. I'd prefer that to if I'm speaking to someone with a very heavy accent and then I'm just doing well, it heavy. Back. You can get away I'm allowed to say that more. No, if it's really spot on, though. Are you good at accents? Yeah. No, definitely not. You get into a confrontation, they're going, nah, 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 and you're just doing it back. But without if I'm saying in a confrontation, anything. I'll be yeah. like, I, I wouldn't care about the other person like that. Okay, let's go to like one of the worst scenarios. It doesn't have to be, a, scenarios. Scenarios. be like a stranger. What yeah, no, a, yeah. a young disabled boy. Uh, For fuck's sake. Okay, so what? Yeah, but I'd, ra- I'd rather. No, no, so the boys. So rather, great timing, by the way. The boys being, no, <laughs> you know, noisy, and his disability is such that there's movement involved. Which is the worst one? I had this at uh, Q not Q the other day. <laughs> great service, though. He had a little suit on. <laughs> <laughs> Just firing peanuts out his nose at the cheapos. Uh, so copy movements. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was once on a train journey, set opposite a guy from Liverpool, and over the course of the journey, my my voice got more and more scouse, mm. and yet he felt he felt more comfortable with me. Yeah. Maybe that'd work for any accent. Yeah. You hope so. You, you're in Tesco. The person next to you drops to the floor and starts having a massive epileptic fit. Are you buying your best clothes? Let's all go, go to Tesco's. Max buys his best clothes. Na 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 <laughs> na na na. He switched na, na. it on us. Yeah, he's good crafty then. Go to Slater's. <laughs> what does the F stand for on the back? Muscle suit. Forehead. <laughs> so tickly. <laughs> You do jump quite easily, mate. Yeah, I, I hate being tickled. Do you? Yeah, yeah. What about this? Yeah, I don't... didn't even touch him. <laughs> do you want a biscuit, by the way? Why are you on work in five minutes, mate? The F stands for to work? fucking walk I'm going to have to. I think... We we make this is time. technically a job, and you've, you've dragged yeah. it out. I am going to have to go. I'm really sorry, guys. Ryan! Do you want a biscuit before you go, mate? Yeah, you have to. Go on, have a biscuit as you sign off. Go on. 
<gasps> Look at this one. Oh, that's oh, perfect. Look, that Look straight into the camera. It, damn, damn it. We like to eat with Ryan because Ryan is our mate. And Ryan likes his biscuits. Finish it on camera. He also Ryan, likes to eat on. eight. <laughs> Ryan. Don't spit that out, Ryan. Love you. Bye. Um, well, there you have it, guys. Yeah. This has been the oh, 20th episode. Yeah, God, we're episode. still going. Still okay. trundling along. I've been joined by Tom Looney. Looney. Pleasure as always. Max Smith. Maxie. Maxie. Uh, Ryan Locke. Mm. Uh, stay safe. Stay humble. Ciao. <laughs>